The barrier arrangements of the late Dr. Paul Semogerere were marred with political activities and speeches by different political parties, especially the Democratic Party, where he served as president. Ring of the Wraith was also dominated by almost all opposition political parties whose leaders were given opportunity to pay their last respect. <laughs> The Democratic Party leadership took an opportunity to lay a cloth of their party colors on the top of the casket of the late Dr. Paul Kawanga Semogerere. <laughs> The National Unity Platform President, Robert Chagulani Sentamu, was the first opposition party leader to get an opportunity to speak about the deceased, since in the family lineage, Dr. Semogeli was his grandfather. He said his grandfather, the late Yosefu Walakira, was DP member, a close friend to the late Dr. Semogeli, who was his mentor in leadership. Chagulani alleged the country is not peaceful, citing the kidnaps of his party members, which the Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja, opposed. <laughs> He attributed to the late as one who groomed many in leadership and promised to carry forward his legacy. Michael Urume Baiga said, as Uganda young Democrats, they chose the late Dr. Semogerere as a leader with trust and without greed to mentor them. At the time of his death, he was still fighting to see that the opposition gets a common front. <laughs> Meanwhile, National Economic Empowerment Dialogue Party, Joseph Kableta, described fallen politician Paul Kawanga Semogerere as a hard-working and selfless person who held Uganda at heart. ...of integrity, a person who was very honest, said, touched the hearts of all Ugandans. So it's so unfortunate that we have lost him at the time that we needed him most. At the time that he should have come out and fight for Ugandans. It's so unfortunate. He's a man who didn't love bloodshed. It's a man who was done to us. Late Dr. Paul Kawanga Semogedele was Democratic Party President General for 25 years and one of the players in Ugandan politics until his retirement. He died at his home in Ruaga Division on Friday, 18th November 2022. He has been laid to rest at Nkumba, Bosiro South constituency in Wakiso District. I'm Navka Farida, reporting.